Today we're making a daiquiri, and it's not the same daiquiri we used to make. It's a better daiquiri. It's a different daiquiri. It's a great daiquiri. It's not your mother's daiquiri! Use coupon code CMC715 at awesomedrinks.com. Save 15% on everything. What? Come in cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shaw. I got the Ian Andrews right here. Ah. Woohoo! Ah. It's Friday! <laughs> we do this harder, but... <laughs> you I'm just in pain. <laughs> I bought my own heart rate monitor though. Oh, that's good. I yeah. bought my own heart rate monitor. <laughs> I was using hers. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, it just changed. Well, You'd have to know that I was borrowing one. We are making today. Yes! What is the official cocktail of Tales of the Cocktail 2015? Which makes as official as anybody who cares. We're making the daiquiri. We are. Now! We've done daiquiri. We, we did have. a daiquiri. It's called the classic daiquiri. It was, that was different. That, that was, was using white rum. Yep. And uh, Bacardi. Bacardi. Yep. Simple, simple syrup. Yep. Lime juice. Yep. Done. Salt. Salt. There's some saline in there. Saline. This time we are making. Nope. Oh, we're making the drink, was... but we're doing it with two and a half ounces of aged, aged rum. rum. We're using Tiburon, which right. we just tasted earlier this week. Yes, we did. Three quarters of an ounce of lime, because you still have to have lime. Yes. Daiquiri isn't daiquiri. These are don't have juicy lime. limes I picked That's up it. today. It's, dude. I was cutting that thing, it was like juicing all over that, me. That thing is ready to have go. some juice! I was like, whoa, chill out, dude. And then that was a that was a uh, penny arcade arms. Oh. And then you ever watch the juice fucker? Nope. That's some juice. You've never seen the juice fucker? Is I this, think it's called the juice fucker. This was a strip, right? A comic Penny strip? Arcade. You've never read Penny Arcade? Yeah, I've read Penny Arcade. Okay. Well anyway. I juice. didn't know if there was a cartoon too, but No no no. Uh, and then a half ounce of civil syrup. Now the way this was this is a, a Simon Simon Difford went and created like a bazillion daiquiris to find the perfect daiquiri. Then Morgan Thaler uh, published a video on Small Screen Network, who we're also affiliated with. So for those that are like, oh, why are you pimping Small Screen? Because we're part of the Small Screen Network. Uh, the you can go Small Screen Small Screen Networks dot com and see our videos there too. The recipe he came up with used um, El Dorado Twelve, which is a Demerara rum. This has that molassa molassa. Molasses? Like I'm from Boston. Molasses. Uh, molasses flavor to it. But I thought if you used, in, in, and also he said that his simple syrup was two to one. I'm like, crap, A, I don't have simple syrup. B, it's not, doesn't, I don't have anything that's good, good demerara flavor to it. So why don't I use rich demerara, which is a rich simple syrup with demerara in it? Ah. Are we going to garnish this a little bit? Oh, uh, we're, we're not going to garnish it. I, I, we could. I don't see why not. You put it in a coupe glass. We're gonna do. This is what's, what, what what that that. That's right, garnish right there. Can, That's it. can I make it look better than that? Yep. Mask it off with a little bit of less insanity. And that's all the extra juice we needed, actually. That that's a ounce and a half lime. Take some juice. That's a big ass lime. All right. You want ice? Yeah, please. Hey, you know what we finally tried? What'd you try? Not your father's root beer. That's so good, isn't it? Not your father's root beer. You get a market basket? No, they were sold out. Were they? Okay. Yes. Well, we went to the mini mart next to T-Bar. Oh, okay. Nice. And they, I had to pick some up for the fishing trip because I was telling you guys about it. Dude, you can only drink one you can, of those, Yeah, right? you can only really drink one. It's good though, right? It's, right. it's good. sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. Like, I was Tastes thinking, just like root beer. Though. I was thinking, oh, this could be my next my go-to drink like, yeah. if I go to parties or whatever. And then by the time I got to the end, I'm like, no, I can only drink one of these. But it is. It's good. It's different. It's so good. Oh, it's not beer. It's not beer. Boom. Um, they say it's beer. Oh, interesting. Put that there. Put it down. Pick it up. So put it there again. There's a couple reasons why I want to do this recipe. Although, besides the fact that we're in New Orleans this week, and I wanted to stick New Orleans theme, but then Jennifer was kind of like, "Oh, everything's kind of absent." Blah blah blah. So I said, well, "How do we fix that?" And I didn't want to do island cocktails. That was like all of last week. Then I was like, oh, we've done a daiquiri before. Then I saw this one. I'm like, it's completely different. I've never had it before. It's got a completely different take on things, and it's simpler to make. Yeah. So, a little bit. Not like it's, it's really not compl complicated. Yeah, right? neither of them are very complicated. And the... <laughs> there it goes. And you got to hear his... Uh, he rant. rants. So, you want to go to... It's called the Morgenthaler Method, which is the video show that he does with small screen. And he rants and burns up the bartending school. <laughs> Like there's a the bartending school they they teach you like you get licensed to be a bartender right yeah, one of these it's a non licensed profession but they license you exactly it's like it's like me registering a star 
Yeah. It's mine, right? Whatever. I don't own it, and somebody else can have it, too. Good luck in there. Register it with many people. So, and we've had Curtis on the show going through what it takes to kind of get into the industry. Yep. And he's like, that's all bullshit. You should be a bar back. You should start from the ground up and learn as you go. Yep. Start at, like, a place like Chili's or 99 and see how fast it is. Get going. Get in. Be so, interested. Be interested. Be engaged. The, Just like any other job. So, the bar school literally says, and Morgan Holler goes, nice rant on it. You have to watch it. But basically... It's like you just, you just use sour mix, just off the shelf sour mix because it's easy and, and, and that's what everybody does. And it's like, whoa! No! Everybody doesn't do that. It's like you could go to a, a Is bar. Is Brady gonna have to stab a choker bitch? <laughs> it's like you can go to a bar in an airport and they still can use a fresh juice there. Yeah. He's like, he cuts the line and goes, there you go. That was hard. <laughs> it's true. It's not a difficult drink to make. Make it right. It's so simple. If you're going to have a cocktail bar, there's no way in hell you should be using pre-made sour mix for anything. No. And, and his argument was fine. You want to do a Bahama Mama that way or something? Whatever. But if you're making the daiquiri, a keystone drink in the age of, of cocktails yeah. from like... It's a when, monumental cocktail. When Cuba was cool for us to go to all the way till now. Like... And probably into the future. Yeah, we're going to be going back to Cuba. Cuba? Cuba. 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 <laughs> Wasn't he a little orange guy with a yeah. big nose, played video games? We're going to Cuba? Screw you about <laughs> I didn't know we were going to Cuba. When are we going there? Ooh. Where the carnival's actually going to a cruise there. Right. Not Ooh. us personally. I want to go to... Oh, general. we're going to go. Oh, we're going to We're gonna have a route. That's good. Yes. Because you know our whole friendship now. Mm, that has candy flavors to it. What is that? Mmm. <laughs> I know it's a daiquiri. <laughs> it's the rich dimmer. How is it that you can make a drink that's so simple? And so complex. It doesn't taste time. like the last daiquiri we did. No. Um, well, it shouldn't. It used age. That is really good. It's got a, a dimmer, like an oaky draw to the finish that kind of brings the tibber on. It's almost Or like maybe even the rich dimmer. Chocolate. Like yeah. the, the, it's sweet, but so, it's, you it know? has the sweet flavors that you're, it has... It's like somebody, if you told somebody, describe sweet. Yeah. And they came out with what they described oh. as sweet. That could be described as sweet, yet it is a sour drink. That is really good. It's not balanced. It's not evenly balanced. It's a little bit sour. I I think it's got a, a great balance to it. it. It has some flavor complexity to it. For something with three ingredients in it, it has a whole lot of complexity. I think that's it. what he's trying to say is, you don't... I think the article is actually called How Not to Fuck Up a Dacker. <laughs> this is how you can search for that too, but the, the fuck was all like blurred out. or squiggly numbers. Uh, wow. You're going to like that, Jeff. You can make a really easy drink in, a, some in, left. A, in a series <laughs> of different ways. I just need a sip. That's all I need. You could do the classic daiquiri way, which we were both equally excited about. Done. All of us were equally excited about. Yeah, that was a great... Right? And you can make a drink that's got a completely different ratio that has... A different experience to it, but you don't have to get complex. You don't mm. need to have the Tiki 40 cock, 40 liquor selection in order to make Maybe this. Maybe that's the Demerara in there. I'm still trying to put my finger on what this is what you so need. good about that. You need to get some BG Reynolds, obviously from Austin Drake's. Austin Drake's, yeah. Right? You need to get yourself, I Austin would personally, Tiburon. either the Tiburon, if you could find, and I, I will eventually get El Dorado 12, because yeah, eventually keep, everything keeps calling for it, and everybody's like, that's the best rum you can get. Because it's the Demerara rum. You need a good rum that's aged, not just aged because it's colored, but aged with flavor. Yep, which this has. You this need to get has no glass. other ingredients. You need a coupe glass, obviously. You need a coupe glass, you gotta get your shaker strainer, right. double strainer. You need the tea strainer, yeah. Those, yeah. those need, are out of stock right now. I have a whole bunch, I just have to. I you you also gotta get your uh, Chef and Lemon squeezer, so I had one that's great. Boom. Uh, it's a really simple drink, though. There's not a lot to no. this. Which is why it's this crazy. ingredient is gonna make a difference yeah. when you use the aged rum. And an aged rum, if you're like, what the hell is an aged rum? I had the same question a few years ago. You could go watch our, what do we call it, the history of rum or something mm -hmm. like that, which goes through. It's really almost like the categorization of rum. There's history in it, but it breaks, you know, Kurds breaks down all the different countries because rum is all about who conquered who last mm. and first in some cases. So And it comes from a lot of places. There's right. Russian rum, there's Caribbean rum, there's South American rums. Which you need to get Belize rum. Uh, Belizean rum. Belizean rum? It's, I don't know. It's Belizean. Belizean. Okay. Well, just because that's what he wrote when he... The Don't stop Belizean. Uh, it could Don't be Belizean. Hold on to that feeling. Anyway, um, the rum, get a rum with character. Yes. Whatever it happens Angus to be. Angostura 1919? Is that it? Angostura 1919. Uh, Rumson's. Rumson's is pretty good stuff, yeah. I don't remember if it was called get, Asian uh, rum. Plantation Asian rum. 
Yeah, plantation reserve. Yeah, the reserve. Grand reserve. Yep. Any, that's your core component. You go get whatever one of those you can get your hands on. Yeah. Or that you like. Penny Blue. Or Penny Blue, actually. Oh, yeah. oh that would be awesome. <laughs> you want to spend $80 for a bottle of rum. You do that. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. Because, again, it's not a complicated drink. No. Get your rich Demerara. If you have a very Demerara sweet rum, you can just use regular simple syrup. Hmm. Two to one. Or if it's totally. really sweet, bring it down to one to one. That's it. Experimental. That's, that's and a lime that juices itself. Oh, 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 oh. That is one horny lime. We have a question today? <laughs> <laughs> really? She's like, to follow that up? Yeah, really? Follow that, Jen. I like really. how you, you timed that because you wanted her to follow up on that. <laughs> no, I don't have a question today. Uh, that's boring. Uh, that's yeah. too easy to say yes or no to. Uh, what do you like to do? We've asked that before. We did. Why is, why is that question here again? I'm going to get through all 50. <laughs> what? That's strange. What's your favorite space or astronaut? That's, that's, that's everybody. everybody's favorite. Our alcohol favorite. store sells over $75 instead of 80 I don't know. Penny Blue? Yeah. What is it? Our alcohol store What's sells What's the Penny last Blue? movie you yeah. saw? That's a relevant question. What's the last movie you saw? Ted 2. Saw it on Wednesday. Oh, was it out? Yeah. How was it? It was funny, yeah. Yeah? It was, uh... It looked I'm, funny on the previews. I mean, it's not as shocking as the first one because the first one was the first one. A yeah. teddy bear me, swearing? Yeah, but it's got some great jokes in there it's yeah. got some really good uh that's yeah. the only F. time Scott Fitzgerald. what do you have against Scott Fitzgerald? <laughs> <laughs> that's the only why would you you said fuck scott Fitzgerald. Yeah. <laughs> those movies are like not just that but comedy movies are the only ones where sequels work yeah because you don't go there for the rich de depth of of the plot no it's but more plots it's got some porn. cameos in it too they all, dude every one dude, of those type of movies has jay cameos. leno cameos in it which is really? hilarious yeah it's really like funny that. Uh, Liam Neeson has this weird cameo in it, which is really funny. Dude, uh, what, uh, Tropical Thunder had tons of cameos. Like, all, a lot you know of movies have cameos. You, you know Michael Dorn, who played yeah, uh, Worf? Worf. He, he's in it. Come on! I know something! It just has to be Star Trek. Uh, that's why I figured you would know it. And, he uh, also was in Deep Space Nine in the third season. He, the fourth season. Liam will the, be so mad he wants to see Ted 2 so badly. It, it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he'll get a kick out of it. It's funny. He's yeah. like Ted 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, was, is, there any, uh, is there any sex in it? No sex scenes. Normally they don't, but... Yeah, there was, there was, he was banging... Ted was banging a girl Tammy in yeah. the He's first a, one. Really? Put, put your finger in my, the loop of my tag. <laughs> what? Put your finger in the loop of my tag. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the whole movie. Oh, so okay. I guess that doesn't count. The last movie that I saw, Jennifer's last movie was... I, I, I wanted to watch... I saw a before that. Uh, I was thinking Starship Troopers because Liam likes these like stupid movies that have lots of violence. I like the new sides of time. And that that's the type of movie I'm like, oh, because Alien was a little slow for him. I think uh, we watched that last week. He's not supposed to like he's dying to see Magic Mike. Because he has no idea what Magic Mike is. He just wants to see Magic Mike because I told him no, that's not. Must be a phase that kids go through. Yeah. He's uh, boundary testing. What He's always do that. What's the last one? I don't know what the last movie I saw, but it was probably not too long ago. Well, Alien! I just watched Alien like last week. Last Saturday or something. Or Sunday. What's the last one you saw in the theater, though? It was a cartoon. It had to be a cartoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, what yeah, what was, was the last uh, cartoon that was out? Oh, 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 Earth. Home. Home. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With Jim Parsons. Have you yeah. seen it? Yeah, that was, was funny. Cute. That was cute. Uh, all yeah. these cartoons are Dude, cute. I love cartoons. Like, I just like cartoons. Do you like cartoons? I like cartoons. There's a follow-up to that question. Oh, no. What? Yeah. You like, you like cartoons? cartoons? Oh. I thought hentai? there was another one. Hentai? Hentai? How do you say it? Doug knows how to say it. Oh, there hentai? you go. If you could give advice to your 15-year-old self, what info would you impart on yourself? If you Cut your damn rat tail and get some contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Smart enough. Fucking so <laughs> down-to-earth answer. <laughs> Just cut your rat tail. At 15, I probably had a rat tail. I had the rat tail in yeah. freshman year. I cut it. Oh, then mine was earlier you guys. Than that. <laughs> I, no, I probably had one back then. No, I did. I had one for some year in college, I think. Uh, I had a goatee, but that wasn't actually that. Yeah, that's not that still. Uh, what would what would you ask your or tell your 15 year old self? I would probably say, you know what? I would be more of the motivation to say, find something you really like and go and do it. Don't bitch. Well, you did that already, so. Not when I was 15. Yeah, but you ended up doing it. Oh, does it have to change my life? Yeah, how would you change I, well, it? Like? I thought it would just make me more, it would do it faster. Okay. So I'd be more successful faster. Fair enough. I'm a fucking successful, I have a YouTube show. 
But you were pretty successful before the YouTube show. <laughs> but so, I, <laughs> but I think it would be cool. You had some, to, you had some decent career uh, path. It was some some right. choices were were well placed. But says don't go out with wife's name. <laughs> <laughs> um, stay away from that Jen Stay away from that Jen Slayer. Not me in general. Yeah. Just stay away from that. Oh, okay. I thought he was picking on you. She's just yeah. gonna quit work. Yeah. And like you're gonna move you job for your whole yeah. life. Get uh, rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a decision that the family made as a whole. I got off with really quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna drink this drink. We should we should wrap anyway, up. Yeah. I don't really Before want Jeff to throw something at us. Right. Oh, we still have another drink, so we have. Hey, we do. Yeah, I like to talk. All right, we can still talk. All right, we're done. We are teaching you how to drink. Go buy cool glasses. Makes simple. Yeah. This makes Bacardi like so much better. Like Bacardi, I'm good with it. You Bacardi, that no, blind. Bacardi is my blind silver go-to winner. Mm. But this tastes more like I use three star from Plantation or something.